Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maximum Under Hot Tips. My name is James Conlon, I'm a Maximum Under Mentor in in South East England. In today's episode I'm going to be having a look at slightly embedding your objects when positioning them on a ground plane. This is a better technique than having them slightly hovering because the human eye will notice an object which is slightly hovering better than it will notice an object that's slightly embedded. This is the scene that I'll be using today, it's just a personal wheelchair project I was working on and if I go to my perspective view, you can see I've positioned this view down by the wheels of this wheelchair. And if I navigate my camera to be slightly underneath the ground plane, you can see that my wheels are actually intersecting and they're actually intersecting by a distance of 2.5 millimeters. Now you can't really see this in the fire view and so you won't really see it in the final render. And if it does look unusual at the points where the wheel is intersecting with the ground plane, a viewer will generally put that down to deformation in the object. For example, in this case, anyone looking at this will know that this is a wheel, and they will expect it to have some amount of elasticity in it, so that it will deform on the ground plane with the weight of a wheelchair on it. However, if I increase the height of the wheelchair by 5mm, the wheelchair is now floating in space by the same amount that it was intersecting. The difference may not be that obvious in the fire window, but in the viewport you can definitely see that this wheelchair is now floating. And having this object floating in mid-air may not be blatantly obvious in the final render, but the viewer may be able to see that something's not quite right in this area. There's a little bit too much light underneath the wheel coming from behind, and they may not even be able to actually put their finger on it, but there will be little signs that something's wrong, and it will put them off the image. Having an object floating in mid-air obviously isn't the end of the world, but it's certainly not accurate, and it's better to be safe than sorry. In the case of an elastic object, obviously modelling the actual deformation to the object is going to be your best option, but when that's not possible, it's better to just have it intersecting by only a couple of millimetres. It really does make the difference. This has been Hot Tips. Any questions or suggestions, send them to or tweet me at jcomland.com. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.